Hello everyone, one megalomaniac here today with a breakthrough glitch of Modern Warfare 3. This is how to get every single title emblem temporarily, mind you, in Modern Warfare 3. And um, this only works in Modern Warfare 3. Um, so what you're going to need is two controllers, and that is all. That's all you need. You don't need any mods. This will, no mods, whatsoever. So what you want to do, the first step, is with your first controller, the, the one that's signed into your main account right now, hit the home button, and guess what? You're going to freaking sign out of it. <laughs> that is right, everyone. Sign out. Okay, now, don't even touch, after you see this, don't even touch your first controllers. Put it down. You're going to pick up your second controller, hit the home button. Now it should say this, and then just sign into your account with your second controller. This is all done on your second controller until I say what. Now, this is going to take a while to sign in. So I'm just going to cut it. And once you see this, you're just going to pick normally. And your normal save device, normal one that you'd always have on. And this takes a while too, so I'm going to probably have to cut this out. Alright, so once that is done, you're going to take your second controller again. Same, you haven't switched to your first controller yet. And you're going to hit the B button. Just like that. With your first controller, put down your second controller, pick up your first, go to system link, and it should pop up with this message. Now, you can hit the A button simultaneously on both controllers. So that way, it looks like that. So that way, that menu shows up, and so does that. And with your first controller, you're going to go down to your main account. So technically now, both controllers are signed in to your, uh, to your account. So, you're going to pick the hard drive as always. Now, once you get to this, this is very important, otherwise the glitch will not work. You're going to want to enable competition mode. Okay? Enable it. And you're going to create game. But just before that, I want to show you, I do not have all the titles and emblems. I don't know if I already showed you this. I'm pretty sure I didn't. But look, that's all I have. Okay. That's it. That's all I have. Okay, so now I'm going to enable it and create game and start game. And once you did that, you, you're you done. It will kick you out of the game. And you have done like Lich, my friends. It will kick you right back to where you started, which is right here. And it will just come up with this stupid message, but just, okay, yeah, sure. Watch this. So it looks pretty normal, right? But I present to you every single title and emblem in the game. Pretty amazing, right? Unfortunately, this does not stay with you. I really wish it did. That would be amazing. But it does not. I am so sad. So now, just like before, the sentry gun. The sentry gun thing was actually down here. Where was it? Oh, it's right here. <clears throat> I'm actually going to use the precision airstrike. That was the one I was always using. And... Whatever one you want, pick all. Pick any of them. I'll go with the uh, PKP. Nope, didn't mean to pick that one. So yeah, you see, you can pick all of them. But the strange thing is, once you go into a lobby, it'll do this. You must be signed into Xbox Live to play Xbox Live matches. Don't know why it says that. That stays, but they go away after you go into a lobby. Watch. What? Well, they do eventually. Maybe, uh, here, I'll just quit the game. Because last time, they, uh, they disappeared for me. So I'll just quit this game. Cool. Yeah, see, now they're gone. So as soon as you go into a game, they are gone. But you still have the ones you picked. And that's the ones I picked. So you just gotta pick wisely. And if you want to change yours, just do the glitch again. It takes two seconds. Well, you know, figuratively. Alright, I will see you guys tomorrow on for more FFA gameplay.